I know you want to live your life. And I know you're sick of mom, because so am I. But Will is so unhappy. And he's been through so much. Couldn't you find some way to have what you want and still look out for him? I know it's a lot to ask. I know. But he's extremely fragile. And it hasn't even been a year since he was in the psych ward. And if he is already acting out, Is he still talking to that psychiatrist? Paul, he stole a set of keys, snuck out in the middle of the night across town, broke into your apartment and trashed the place. It doesn't take a, a shrink to see what's wrong here. He is dangerously upset with you. I feel terrible. Why? You did a terrific job. Yeah, but you saw how mad he was. But that's what we want, Will. We want your brother to understand what he's doing to us. You want him to stay here, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. So stick to your story, all right? Just say you took the key out of my purse and some money. You came over here, let yourself... Mom, but I lied. You took responsibility. Mom, but I didn't do it. Now he thinks I'm insane no, or something. No, no, no. You, <laughs> you are a perfectly wonderful normal young guy and you know what you just don't want your brother moving away it's the brotherly thing to feel that's all now what do you say we uh go find that new video game you want and we have a little celebration you want to celebrate look you're gonna save your brother from a terrible marriage and a horrible wife and in my book that's reason enough to celebrate. The answer that you want doesn't mean that the people who love you aren't listening. Well, that's right. How's right? You know, we all get angry. It's just how we handle it that matters. And, you know, sometimes we need a little help. And uh, that's why I think maybe it's a good idea. You, your mom, and me went to see Dr. Mike. No, I'm not going back to the hospital. Look, Will, we can see her at her office. Pal, pal, her pal office. I really don't think a psychiatrist is necessary if Will knows that he has the love and support of his family. Oh, and he will have that. Yes, Dad, and from all of us this time. It's really, it's worth a try. Please, Dad. Hey, you know this whole uh, no more video game thing? It could be a good thing. Give us some more time to, to go out together. We could play some ball. Maybe go bike riding. And... Well, listen, if, if I ever tick you off again, you need to tell me right to my face so that we can work it out. So I don't have to go see the doctor? Well, we'll see how it goes, Will, but no promises, okay? Okay, go to my room, Mom. Yeah, sure, honey. How dare you make those kind of promises to him? How are you going to be spending time and hanging out with him when you're with Rose and back Paris? Off, He's Barbara, setting them up for disappointment off, again, you know, Hal. I am not going to disappoint, Will. As of right now, all of my plans are changing. Changed, Paul. Wedding plans, moving plans. Listen, Does Rose know about these changes? Give the guy a chance to answer, Barbara. Rose and I have talked about this, and we both want what is best for Will. She does. The woman who attacked me in front of your little brother. The woman who said vile things about me in front of your brother. She wants what's best for him. No, 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 no. She's just saying all that to keep in your good graces, Barbara, well, you Paul. want to keep it down, he can probably hear you. I'll get it. You looking for a fall guy for Will's problems? You should look in the mirror. Hello. Oh. What are you doing here? I have something for you. Family reunion? Hey. Hi. We were... Hi. We were just, uh... We were talking to Will. How'd it go? Yeah. As if you care? Do you have to go on the attack? Nah, that's okay. I'm used to it by now. You know, I read in one of these magazines that the mother of the groom is supposed to sit in the corner and wear beige. Could you work on that, please? I cannot wait for you all to be there at the wedding. How fun. 
Could you tell Emily I want to talk to her about something with the reception? She oh, call me? she'd like that. Good. Well, obviously, the bride is the last to know. Mm. Know what? Paul, you haven't discussed any of these changes with your fiance? What changes is she talking about? So, uh, what kind of changes? The wedding's not canceled. Oh, is it? oh. Okay. oh I know. Of course, we're getting married. Okay. Right here in Oakdale. And we'll go to Paris, but mm, maybe Paris. not, you know, right after the ceremony. Why not? Miss Thing over there and uh, Crazy Horse over there. Why do we have to turn our lives upside down? That's I what she wants, you know that. I haven't been living up to my end of the bargain, and I just want a little bit of time so that we can show Will that he has a home with us no matter where we are. I don't want Will hurting because of us. Believe me. I... But I got a little, little problem. Jennifer gets what she wants. Barbara gets what she wants. Will gets what he wants. What about us? I mean, how long before you and me get to have a life together? Like when we're alone. Why? Everybody loves telling us what to do with our lives. We don't want to ruin their fun. Barbara, I think we'd better check on Will, Jen, you too. Hey, stop. Hey, Ooh. we're not canceling anything, all right? We're just making some minor adjustments. Uh, mm. Yeah, I, you know, I just don't understand why we have to adjust for everybody else. Nobody makes our lives easier, but here we are bending over backwards for everybody else, making we're their life a lot easier. We're bending over backwards for everybody else. We're bending over backwards for Will. Will has parents to help him through this. Yes, and ordinarily that would be enough if the kid had, you know, a stable home with normal parents. And you know what? I don't worry about him so much when he's with Hal and Emily, but the time that he spends alone with Barbara, that really worries me. I'm starting to think that maybe Hal is right and that the kid needs some professional help. No, you don't need a therapist. You need an exorcist. Rose, <laughs> you still think I don't want to, you know, run away? Run right out that door, run away from everything and everybody, but I... That would mean turning my back on Will. I can't do that. He's calling out for me right now, and, you know, the next time it won't be just spray-painting my penthouse. It'll be something bigger. I can't ignore him. I don't think you can either. Mm. No Christmas in Paris, no New Year's Eve in Venice. Mm -hmm. Not this year. But look at it this way. We'll be together. You and me and Barbara makes three. Paul, Will's asking for you. You got a nice little puppet show going on in there, don't you? Excuse me? Oh, no, I don't excuse you. I don't excuse you for using your son. I don't excuse you for putting Will into his latest nervous breakdown. It's just so interesting to me. Paul decides to pull up stakes and all of a sudden Will goes ballistic. Something's wrong here. The question is, who's losing it? Will or you? What are you insinuating, Rose? Mm, I'm not insinuating anything. I smell a skunk with a can of spray paint. And it's not Will. Told Paul that he did it. Just like he told everybody he torched Emma's barn? 